Hello everyone. I had a gallon of milk that was almost expiring and I didn't want to waste it. So this is what I did. I boiled it and added few drops of lime juice or vinegar. You can have vinegar and let it curdle. Then I hung it in a muslin cloth and flattened it out using some heavy weight. And this is what I got. It's paneer. And then I decided to make paneer butter masala. And today I'm going to show you how to make one using a little bit of condensed milk. It's the twist. Let's see how to get started. And these are the ingredients. I have some butter, two medium onions, three tomatoes, some cashew nuts, like 15 of them, some garlic, ginger, green chili, and red chilies. I'm going to add kasuri methi, which is fenugreek leaves at the end. We need some ghee and some salt. So let's get started making our paneer butter masala. First, we're going to saute these ingredients and then make a paste out of it and add to the gravy. Okay. So take a pan. I've added ghee, two teaspoons of ghee and the two medium onions. Let it saute and wilt. You can add a pinch of salt if you want, but I don't prefer to because I'm going to grind it. And then I'm going to add tomato, cashews, garlic, ginger, one green chili, and five to six Kashmiri red chilies. And we're going to saute it well and then blend it in a blender. Make a thick paste. When it's slightly wilted, I will add the tomatoes, three medium chopped tomatoes. And let it cook along with your ginger, garlic, and the red chilies, the green chilies, and all that you have. And let it fry up, or actually go down. And then you can proceed to making a puree out of it, or a thick paste. It's so pretty and colorful. And the dish overall is a very colorful dish to have a chapati, pulao, or naan. And it's very comforting on a cold winter day, or pretty much every season. But this one is with a twist. I'm going to add a few teaspoons of condensed milk to balance the taste out. And I will also be adding a couple of powders, which will enhance the flavors. So this is not all that it is. We're going to make a paste, and then again season it with some more uh, spices and then we're going to add the paneer. I'm going to chop it down into cubes and use it. You could add some salt to this at this point but not necessary. You can do it at the end as well. So I add a little bit just to flavor up whatever is going to be ground so it will add more flavor. I love how the food starts talking. And it's almost Christmas here in California. The weather is getting a little chilly. And I'm a new YouTuber. I'm just doing this because a lot of my friends recommended me to start something. And they always want to hear tips from me. So I thought this is a great platform to talk to the world. And nothing fancy. Just what I do every day. And I hope to post some palarams that I make for Christmas and uh, just make it special. My house is all lit up with Christmas lights and all the decorations are in place and we're going carol rounds tomorrow and have tons of events coming up this weekend and what a joyful time of the year to celebrate with friends and family. At this point I'm going to add some turmeric powder. Turmeric has more antioxidant and also is an antiseptic. So for the cold months, this is a great way to build immunity. And you can add it to your uh, little sauteing of onion and tomato. Um, it usually is not this watery. Uh, my tomatoes were quite juicy, so they've given out a lot of water. So it looks like this. But maybe just two more minutes of this sauteing and we will be ready to grind it into a paste. By the way, this is called Anjana Pitti in Tamil and it is my spice box where I keep chili powder, fennel powder, cumin powder, my gura masala, 
my Dania powder or my coriander powder, turmeric and uh, this is empty in case I make some kind of concoction. So I keep an empty one all the time. I need to clean it though. Uh, but I have three different boxes like this, one for whole spices and one for my sauteing or seasoning box. So I have three different boxes similar to this. One has powders, one has my seasonings, one has my whole spices. It's a good way to keep it all in one place. So it's almost done. I'm going to turn off stove, let it sit for a couple of minutes to cool down. In the meanwhile, I'm going to chop up my paneer and I will show you what it looks like once it's all ground up. Okay. I'm ready to grind the onion mix in a paste. So I usually put a towel on it because sometimes if the liquid is hot, it's going to splatter everywhere and safety is the first priority. So please put a towel on it if you think the liquid is hot. So here's my ground paste, all done. I'm going to try. This is how it looks once it's all ground up. Now we're going to saute. Uh, just season it with little powders and add this puree and a paneer and other extra ingredients. So in a clean pan I took one teaspoon of ghee which is clarified butter. I'm going to add a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder and turn the flame down so it doesn't start smoking and a little bit like a quarter teaspoon of cumin powder and let's just get it Stirred up and now we have to pour the liquid the puree once you add the liquid puree it gives this beautiful color when you add Kashmiri red chili powder compared to other cayenne pepper powder or anything so it gives this beautiful beautiful orangey red color Since it's super thick, I'm going to add some of the grinding washing into it to loosen up the gravy. Just add water and give it a stir to mix it well and check for the consistency. It shouldn't be super thick, it should be a nice gravy and it does th thicken up once it's uh, cooled down. So considering that, just make sure you have it all blended. I actually turned off the stove because my uh, Kashmiri chili pepper started smoking. Make sure you turn off or lower the flame while you do this. This is a simple yet very satisfying uh, dish. I have my paneer ready. I have my kasuri methi for the end and I'm going to add condensed milk. Just a teaspoon or two. Not much. Then it will sweeten the entire dish. Uh, but you do need a bit of sweetness to balance out the spice, which is not much actually. This is a very mild gravy and uh, some people use honey at the end and uh, even grind koya with some milk and add to this to thicken it. But since it's a home consumption, I'm not really worried about making it super rich, but this is a creamy recipe regardless and it tastes great. So let's go ahead and add our condensed milk. And just a teaspoon. No, this is a tablespoon, a big tablespoon. Okay. Stir it well once you add the condensed milk. Now we'll drop in our paneer. Let it all blend in. Soak in this juices. I know they're not that neat cubes, but when you make it at home, it's kind of rustic. So deal with it. It's going to be delicious regardless. So check for spice and salt and the sugar element. Make sure it's all balanced out. And now we're going to finish it with some kasuri methi. This is the secret ingredient to making a great uh, paneer butter masala. And also, in the end, you have to drop a bit of butter. 
butter makes everything better and I did drop my butter okay so this is what it is just a teaspoon or so not much okay so I'm gonna chop it up and put it in there not much just a small piece it looks big on the camera but it's really not okay so add that in and you can turn off the stove and stir it in and garnish with cilantro this is so good cooking doesn't need to be complicated but clean up as you go which is a great tip each time something is sauteing you do your dishes or clean up your counter so you don't have a big mess at the end of it our paneer butter masala is done I'm going to garnish with some cilantro and I'm so proud of myself for making this dish because I used to love this dish with naan and roti and these were only available in the restaurants and now I can make it at home. When I started cooking I didn't even know how to boil water and now I'm making paneer butter masala and so can you. Alright, enjoy cooking. This goes well with naan and roti and even pilaf. So please make sure you try this simple recipe and 